Hello everyone. Today I will put the receiver on my new quadcopter. This is a standard 5 inch quadcopter. This is almost done except the receiver. And today I will try to use this one. A Matex ELS receiver 2.4 gigahertz. And as you can see, uh, this is uh, the diversity version because it has two antenna. A receiver will select the antenna uh, depending on how good of reception. Well, okay. And before I put on the board, I would like to update the firmware first. As you can see uh, on the website, the XPS LS 2.4 GHz receiver from Metexis is has two versions. Uh, and I select this version uh, with D, it means uh, diversity, and S, it means um, maybe single or SMD antenna. Yeah. And if you look into the specification, you will see. This one, diversity, the antenna switching, yeah, and default it antenna to not one. <laughs> okay, and if you go to the downloads tab, you can see, yeah, it come with two point uh one point two firmware and two point oh, yeah. But today I will try to up update to the firmware to. 2.2.0 uh, step is we will generate the, the binary file from the HPS LS configurator. Yeah, uh, normally it has a many way to update, but today I will update by Wi Fi. Okay. The first one is I will select uh, the version 2.2.0 and target is Metexis, Metexis pool uh, 2.4 gigahertz and device is this one, not PWM. Uh, we use Metex 2400RX. Okay, yeah, as I say, flashing method has uh, have three method. Beta five part two, you are and Wi-Fi. Today, I gonna try Wi-Fi. Okay, and I will check this because I'm in Thailand. And this one I don't like because if I drop my port, the receiver will not uh, scan for all packet list. Yeah. I uncheck this and this is important because we use the diversity version then we check it okay and auto Wi-Fi default is 20 but I'm not sure about this value for the default but let's see I will show you and binding phase I will use my website name my my channels don't enforce yeah, if you don't like uh, the binding phase, just uncheck. Then you can buy by button or from beta files. Okay, and this one uh, uncheck and I don't use home Wi-Fi. Okay, then I build. Okay, I have. Uh, we have to wait for some time to generate a, a binary file. Okay. Okay, we success to generate this binary file. Okay, next step is we will turn the receiver on and let's see uh, how long we have to wait for the receiver uh, change to Wi Fi mode. Okay, you, you can see. 
the tongue here okay uh, okay uh, I will make sure this is in focus okay then I start When it's changed to Wi-Fi mode, uh, the L delayed LED will ring uh, really fast. Twenty second, twenty one. For the other receiver, um, I see it's just twenty second or thirty second. But for this one, thirty eight. 39, 40. Maybe we have to wait for a, a, a one minute. 58, 59, 50. Yeah, okay. It's been really fast. It means uh, it's on a Wi Fi mode. Okay, then I will place the receiver near my laptop. We're looking for the XPS LRS RX then connect the password is XPS LRS okay after connected this will open the web browser and go to 10.0.0.1 yeah okay then I just thread the binary file that we generate from XPS, XPS LS configuration go later to here and then click update okay finish and then rebooting yes you can see this frame value revisions 2.2.0 okay we update to 2.2.0 already okay i try to open my remote welcome to mambo and you can see the ld It's not by. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Normally, it should buy. Maybe you try to buy from the TX. Buy more. Okay. And for receiver, we will turn on and turn off TTAM. Okay. Okay. Recovered. Okay, now we can buy. I don't know why. No, normally, I, I can buy without press the button because we use the binding phase. Okay, after I connect the receiver to the file controller, I change my mind. I think I will try to to fetch a, a receiver again by beta five plus two. Uh, okay, let's see if this work or not. Okay, I will put the USB in. Yes, the receiver is on. Then um, go to the beta five. 
okay on verify um make sure i select the serial rx on ur1 in configuration tab uncheck telemetics uh, save and reboot then go to receiver you see you are and ci just okay it's correct okay then um go to the xps lis configurator and select a mat axis again and device is to turn on that rx and select this one beta 5 class 2 okay but do not connect to the beta 5 configurator okay i have to close the beta 5 configurator okay and then select everything same as last time okay then i'm um, select uh, com7 and click on build and fetch okay and i hope this time this will work yeah it's writing now this one you can see ah uh, okay i'm slower than it just go back to the display Okay, it show uh, success solely to switch the camera but i think this time it's okay welcome to mambo uh, still do not work maybe because it's go to wi-fi i will try to turn off ah uh, okay maybe i'm wrong because normally when I, I fly uh, with XPS LIS, I have to turn on the the remote first and and open and, and turn on my quad later. Okay. Let's see how it works. Yeah, okay. I, I think it's work on the first time. It, it's, it's my fault. Uh, normally normally for XPS LIS you you have to turn on the remote first and then turn on the your core yeah okay now we go to beta 5 configurator and plug in the usb you will see the, the receiver will show it led will show it yeah because of uh it bound it's inbound with my uh, memo okay then i will check in the receiver tab okay you can see this and i left the portal okay your and pitch below okay uh i will connect uh, i will configure the layers of uh, configuration um and then i will put uh the receiver in place okay as you can see this receiver come with the, the dipole antenna i uh, think it's not good enough i will take it off and change to the t style antenna from happy model and i have a, a short one and wrong one because i will uh, put the short one like here on the back and the long one at the arm like this for getting a base reception on the back and on the sides ta-da okay this is my finished work of my this is my first time to build a 5 inch power copter yeah it, it looks normal for for the other 
person, but for me, it's, uh, I can, okay, and this is uh, my finished job for put the XPS LIS receiver from Matex piece and put the uh, two antenna on the back and on the arm. Okay. Yeah, then I will um, test the top plate and in order, then I can find. And this is my first time that I make my quick video uh, by English. Uh, I would like to say sorry if uh, it's not good, but I will try to improve my English uh, and try to release a clip with English language uh, more. Okay, but it could be nice if you put on the, uh, your comment down below uh about my first clip i will use it i will use this to improve my clip okay and for this time uh i would like to say goodbye uh have a nice day for you all bye bye